Okay, in this video, we're going to use the TI-84 to um, calculate an estimate for the mean uh, for data in a grouped frequency table. So grouped frequency table, firstly, it means it's a frequency table. So it's got frequencies, as in the how many. And the group means it has groups. So it, number of pens, you see, this isn't no pens, it's 0 to 3. So if you have no pens, one pen, two pen, or three pens in your pencil case, then you will go into this group and there's 10 people in that group and we don't know exactly how many pens they have and that's why we have to do an estimate for the mean right so to to work this out you go to stat and you go edit and you need to fill in the two columns for l1 and l2 list one list two column one column two now in l1 you need to put in the numbers of pens so what you can't put in is zero to three so as I was saying, these 10 people, they could have all had no pens. They could have all had three pens. Um, most likely, they probably, some of them had no pens. Some had one, some had two, some had three. So the only really sensible assumption is to assume that they're all in the middle. So the midpoint of zero and three is 1.5 because zero plus three is three. And three divided by two is 1.5. So what we're going to do is put the midpoints of this column in as our x values so 1.5 <clears throat> midpoint of 4 and 6 is 5 midpoint of 7 and 9 is 8 and the midpoint of 10 and 11 is 10.5 remember if you're ever not sure about a midpoint these are quite nice numbers but but if you're ever not sure add them up and divide by 2 so then we need to go to l2 and you put the frequencies in so 10 6 2 1 Okay, now we need to go to stat again, and instead of edit, you want calc, and you want one var stats because it's one variable, the variable being number of pens, so click on that. Now we need to look at this very carefully, and L1, L2 is right, so that means that the last time I did this, I did have a frequency table. So this is saying that L1 is the list for the data, and L2 is the frequency of the data in L1. So, which is exactly what it is. If you look at the two columns, this is the actual number and this is the frequency of it, each number. So L2 is the frequency list. So that's why it works. So that is absolutely fine. L1, L2. So you press enter, enter, calculate. Um, right, so the first check is N needs to be 19. So that is absolutely fine. N is 19. There's 19 numbers. If you want to check, you can do 10 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1. Right, so N is 19. X bar, which is the estimate for the mean, is here, the first, very first um, bit of data. So the mean number of pens in the pencil case for these 19 people surveyed is 3.76 pens to three significant figures. And the key takeaways from this. Well, firstly, do not forget if it's a grouped frequency table, use midpoints. Secondly, you need to make sure you tell the calculator that it's a frequency table. In this particular example, I didn't have to. If this had been blank, which it often will be, then you need to put the L2 um, in for yourself, which you can find using the second button, the blue button. And thirdly, remember that this X with the little line over it, X bar, is the mean.